I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. I'm talking to you, Pino! I do remember when I was growing up that, like, certain people would say to me, you can't be Italian, you have blue eyes. I was like, what are you talking about? Half, you know, half of Italy has blue eyes, you know? But there was just this image that was really sort of burned into their psyche of what an Italian looked like. You got work to do. All Italian-American males are big, loud, brutish, and violent. That has nothing to do with me. You know, Italian-American women like to cook all day, and they like to stand at the stove making tomato sauce. We all ask the questions, who am I, where do I fit in? And I couldn't figure out where I fit in with those depictions. One pork chop, one! We just washed the hair. Fine! I think that there are certain traits that Italian-American families have that are a little larger than life traits. There's truth in any stereotype. But if that is overblown and that's all you're seeing, it becomes untrue. No other immigrant story has been more mythologized than that of Italian Americans. It is the epic fable of the primacy and power of family mixed with the dark specter of criminality. My family was so unlike that. And my father looked down upon that stuff, you know? Uh, and yet he loved the Godfather. He was obsessed with the Godfather. There is that element of admiration of the images of strength, of potency, of power, bada bing, the forget about it, all that kind of stuff, which people find really entertaining, but it is inaccurate. Like many of you, I watched a small man with thick calluses on both his hands work 15 and 16 hours a day. The power of myth has overshadowed the real history of Italian-Americans. The story of men and women who helped build America's cities, who struggled to assimilate to the modern world while holding fast to their old traditions, and who, despite the stain of mafia association, rose to the highest echelons of American society. These people, these four million immigrants who come to the United States, what happens to them and what they do, those individual stories are the stories that Italian-Americans have forgotten. <laughs>